everyone so i want to do a quick video i just learned how to do this so i wanted to share it with everybody um so i've come across this a couple times especially when you're shooting in natural sunlight uh, what happens a lot of time is the transition from like a shadow area into a bright area um, you know you you're coloring the image but you have to pick one right so if you pull down all the light because when you're in the sunlight it's too bright then your shadows, you know, you've lost your image because your shadows are going to be so dark when you get into the shadow or shaded part and vice versa. If you brighten up the shadow part, then the sun part is too bright. So I wanted to show a quick way that I learned uh, to do both uh, and make it transition smoothly so that you can't tell. And this is what a lot of people do um, for, for like longer takes. So just using an example here. Um, we're looking at this beach. Let's say that I needed to brighten up the beach because it's a little dark, uh, and this is a drone shot. So, and then once we get past that and we get into the water, I want to darken it because it's that sun is too bright for me. Okay. So what you want to do is go right about to where your colors to change. So here we're past the beach. So I'm going to make a cut, and this is not the only way to do this, but this is just the way I like to do it. it seems to be pretty easy. Um, so we're going to go to the color page down here at the bottom from the edit page to the color page. So this is the beach. So I want to brighten the beach up, right? I'm just going to use the curves for this. Let's see, brighten the beach up. Let's pull the light down a little bit. Let's pull the shadows down a little bit. So I really want to brighten up the beach, brighten up the beach, but then see how me doing that makes the ocean even more bright. So maybe that's not what I want. So let's go over to the next shot. And then you see we're over the ocean. What do I want that to look like? Well, I want some more contrast. So let's pull this way down. Let's pull that sunlight down a bit so it's not quite so in your face. You know, here we go. Let's pull these blacks in. So there you go. So there's our two different images. One is very bright. One is, uh, is, is not so bright. See the difference? So we're going to go in here. And you'll see where you made that cut, where the transition is. There, the two little arrows pop up. Right click. You can add how quickly you want it to dissolve, cross dissolve into the next frame. For this, because it's going so dramatically different, I'm gonna choose the biggest one, see how that looks. So you see we're bright, we're bright, we're bright, we're bright. And then it looks like it changes exposure, right? But to me, that would throw me off if I were watching this on a, on a film or something. So let's make it even more gentle. So then, see our beach is bright, we're good, we can see everything on the beach. It's not as dark as it was. And then now you see it's slowly transitioning to the point to where once we're over the ocean, now you can't even really tell that it transitioned. It just looked like a natural, um, a natural kind of ISO change. And this works really well if I just did a shot where if you have a character that walks from sunlight to shadow, to shade. Um, this works wonderfully because you just, you know, color one image and get it where you want it when he's in sunlight and then transition it to when he's in shadow. You know, you pull it out and make the image look how you want it to look. So that's it. And you can decide how quick, like if we wanted it to really change quickly, you know, you had a jump image, boom. See, that's like, oh, real quick. So anyway, that's how you can transition a image from something a little brighter because in the start of the image it's dark to something a little darker because later in the image it's too bright. All right guys, thanks.